Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome back to my channel. This video is a continuation of a playlist series that I am creating over the next several weeks, which will help you make the decision as to whether or not mortgage protection sales or final expense sales is for you. We're going to cover all the bases. We're going to talk about what mortgage protection is, what final expense is, and what you should be considering before joining. Whether or not you should be independent operating as a broker or a captive working for an insurance company that gives you just their products to sell and not acting as a broker. And what does it take to succeed here? And again, whether or not it's for you. If you haven't already done that, make sure you subscribe. Very important that you see all these videos on this playlist and get the immediate notifications of when something comes out. So smash that subscribe button below, hit the bell that gives you instant notifications. Do me a favor, like and comment so I know that you're getting something out of these videos and it's worth doing. It helps you make that decision as to whether or not this industry really is for you. On this video, we're gonna talk about what is the opportunity for me our most favorite radio station, right? W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me? That's what this video is about, is what you can expect to earn. So let's take the first question. What is the opportunity for mortgage section? Right now, mortgage section sales are skyrocketing. We just came off 2018, which was the biggest year in my career in the last 30 years of being around this industry. 2019's already started off bigger and moving faster than 2018. So that's why your timing couldn't be any better. There's an old saying, the T in timing is more important than the T in talent. And it couldn't be more true than it is right now. So this is a good time to figure out whether or not this industry for you. Get licensed if you're not licensed and get in before this year is over. And take advantage of being in the right place at the right time in this market. Again, mortgage section sales, final expense sales, are skyrocketing in part because of new life insurance products, including living benefits that protect from disability and chronic, critical, and terminal illness. The baby boomers are getting ready to retire. They're moving their money out of 401ks into fixed annuities. They're facing the final expense decision of their lives. They may be getting ready to retire and realize they don't have enough life insurance, or maybe their retirement got wiped out, so now they don't have that nest egg in there. They're very concerned that if something that happened to either one of them, the surviving spouse and the children will end up homeless. So again, it's what I call a perfect storm and a great time to get involved. And also, consumers are beginning to realize they can buy the new kind of life insurance policy, which opens the doors to reviewing and modifying what they currently have for you and I as agents. The old question, well, I've already got it taken care of, or I already have life insurance. Really, those objections now can be handled very, very easy when you dig down to find out what it is. If they've had it for more than two, three years, then it's time for you to get in there and make sure that they had the new life insurance. One of the reasons why this is a perfect storm and all of these things coming together is the other reason, which is the insurance companies are updating their mortality tables, which keeps premiums down. So very likely you can get them more coverage, better coverage for the same or less money. While I was preparing myself to do this video, I pulled some recent facts from a training webinar, which further reinforces the importance to educate your clients on the new types of coverage. Four key LIMRA facts you shouldn't ignore. Now, LIMRA is an insurance research organization that provides data to the industry and to the insurance companies. Listen to these facts. 50% of households have an average coverage gap of about $200,000, creating a total market need for additional insurance or additional life insurance of nearly $12 trillion. 45% of households say they are likely to buy in the next year, which sets up 2019, as I said, really is a perfect storm for all of us that are in the market, ready to go, and to take advantage of it. 80% of life insurance policyholders state that they have no relationship with their agent, and 70% of this group acknowledges that they need more coverage, <laughs> right? That's perfect for us, right? That's what we want. And 40% of households would feel the financial impact from the loss of their primary wage earner in six months or less, which is a staggering 50 million households. When dialing my leads, I often ask them, listen, Jack, if something were to happen to you, what does your family finances look like 
30 days from now when you don't come home and none of there's your paycheck. Listen, compelling mortgage statistics also reinforce this opportunity. The average mortgage debt in the United States is $172,000 plus. The median sales price of a new home in October 2018 was over $340,000. 97% of the Gen Z age group wants to own a home, and those Gen Zs hit their 18th birthday in 2017. Now, I'm sure you're saying, Steve, those are great facts, but what does it mean to me? I'm getting ready to tell you. What do these facts tell us? The market is busting into seams with customers who need protection for real problems. And here's the exciting part about it. The needs for a mortgage protection policy fall well within the limits for life insurance without a medical exam, which drives our niche in this industry. Coupled with the explosion of e-apps, where you can now go in the home, do the application electronically, and have it to the underwriter within minutes, you're sitting on a gold mine of opportunity. If you're paying attention to the market and planning your business around these facts, you and I are going to make a lot of money in 2019, plain and simple. And your premiums per household will undoubtedly increase. Here's the added bonus. As I said in my last video, the typical lender doesn't offer mortgage session life insurance. So let's talk about how much money can an insurance agent make selling mortgage session. I'm glad you asked. At the current pace, agents working in the mortgage session industry market wrote nearly $100 million dollars in paid annual premiums, whether you're at 25%, 50%, or 100%, 110% contract, whatever, doesn't matter, that's a huge opportunity. Marketing this type of coverage certainly has its advantages. So in preparation for this video, I pulled some numbers for our top 15 agents in our organization. Numbers like this are very doable for a full-time agent. These numbers are based on issue paid policies that have been approved, they've gone from submission to commission. Numbers like 30,000, 19,400, 11,600, 12,200, 12,400, 9,200, 9,100. You have to go down almost 15 places in our organization to find anybody that did not earn a minimum of six thousand dollars. In fact, it was six thousand six hundred dollars and fifty two cents. That's a serious income for someone that takes advantage of this opportunity, recognizes it for what it is, and gets after it. And yes, those are weekly numbers, weekly production numbers, which means these agents are earning at least two hundred thousand dollars per year. Something to note though, average premiums per policy are higher with mortgage session versus final expense or other lines of insurance. Here's something to note, because I get this question a lot of times on the phone. Why mortgage session versus final expense? Here's something you want to write down. Average premiums per policy are higher with mortgage protection versus final expense or other lines of insurance. You can take that to the bank. So very quickly, I have the whiteboard in front of me, because I know you want to know is how my commissions are calculated. So let's go to the whiteboard and figure that out. Okay, so we're at the whiteboard. Let's talk about the average premium that your customer is going to pay is nationwide is $83 a month. You times that by 12, and you come out with a number of $1,000 APV. That's what we talk about in our industry. It's annual premium volume, okay? Let's take, for example, that you're on the 90% contract. Now, that means you're going to make $900 for that sale of $1,000. Now, they're going to pay you and I 75% up front. Why do they hold back 25%? Because they want to make sure you have a chargeback savings account built in. So they're going to pay us a 75% in advance, which means we're going to make $675 for that sale next day deposited into our bank account. Okay? Now, we haven't lost this 25%. That's still sitting out there, and we get paid that in months 10th, 11th, and 12th, right? It's what we call getting past the chargeback period. Once they've paid for nine months, now you've earned that nine months commission, and they're going to pay us the remaining 10th, 11th, and 12th month, the remaining 25%, what I call as earned. So when they make their payment, their premium payment of $83, you're going to get a portion of that 25% back. 
Does that make sense? Now, here's the deal. Sure, every agent's not going to perform at this level, but the opportunity is right there in front of you. Think about it. The average insurance agent's salary is less than $50,000 per year. Would you be upset if you changed that to $80,000 or even $100,000? It's a lot easier to make six figures in this business when you take the time and study the details inside and out and are learning with a coach that can help you learn a system and the skills necessary to succeed in this business. It's a lot easier to make six figures in this business when you take the time, you study the details inside and out, and you find a coach or a mentor that's leading from the front, in other words, putting his name on an application or her name on an application, not reading from the book because they're just recruiters, right? There's a lot of that going on in this industry. They can teach you the skills necessary to succeed in this business. And the only way they can teach you is if they're doing it and they're putting the uniform on and they're going outside sitting kneecap kneecap with families in their home. Otherwise, it's book knowledge and that's why so many people fail. Can you imagine what selling mortgage protection insurance would do for your life? Very quickly, before we wrap this video up, I'm going to go through my 1063 part-time success program. Okay? Let's do it. Now, this is part-time activity. I should be on this side. Okay? 1063. What does that mean to you? It means you're going to buy 10 fresh leads. Here's where I get myself in trouble because I say 10 leads and you go out and buy 10 leads for 50 cents. Not going to work. 10 fresh leads. You set six appointments from these 10. That means you're going to lose four. They're either not going to be there, they don't answer the phone, maybe you can drive by, whatever you want to do. But six out of 10 is, is reasonable. Six appointments out of 10 leads. Fresh leads. You're going to close three sales from those six. That's figuring a 50% closing ratio, which if you can't get 50%, you need to call me and I'll help you get it. So let's take a look at the math. If you close three sales, that's $3,246 of the APV. Okay, $1,080 roughly times three, $3,246. Okay, but you net $2,272 if you're on a 70% contract. Okay. So that means you're going to earn $22.72, but they're going to hold back 25% and only pay you 75%, right? Now, you still have earned the $568, okay? So they're going to pay you that, like I said, over here in months 10th, 11th, and 12th, right? They're going to pay that to you as earned. Then you had the lead cost, so on average, $40 a piece for leads. That's $410. That means you're going to net, after lead cost, $1,800. $62 per week, part-time, part-time, 1063. You can run, if you set six appointments, you can run six appointments in two days. You might even be able to run one day, but let's just take two days as a minimal effort, okay? That means you're making nearly $2,000 a week, part-time, after lead cost. Now, this program works. It's a law of large numbers. It works every single time. As long as you're working with somebody that can teach you, you're coachable, you have a burning desire to succeed, and you're willing to work. Don't miss our next video in mortgage section sales. If you're actively looking for a place to go right now, and you're licensed or you're unlicensed, and you want me to save you about 70% of the cost of getting licensing, my contact information is in the description. You can text me, email me, or call me, and we can set a time to talk on the phone. But if you're looking, for some bullet points to ask or to check the boxes when searching for an IMO, here are some ideas. Number one, the IMO must own their own direct mail house for lead generation, not just buying from third-party vendors. Number two, they have to have technology free of charge. Number three, no duplicated, redated, or recycled leads. That requires technology that many of them don't have. No recruiting required in order for me to get promoted from the 70% contract to the 90% and above. No cap of my income if I haven't recruited or I haven't built a team. No memberships that I had to sign up for in order to be, have the privilege of getting promoted for the work I do. Crazy stuff, but it's out there, okay? Home office staff and support, and then find yourself a good coach and mentor. Again, I talk about this all the time. I get these calls all week long. It's not just the IMO. You're looking for the coach or mentor that's with the right IMO that can teach you the skill set of how to succeed in this business from phone calls, setting appointments, to price selection, getting that out from submission to commission. All of those things are priceless. So it changed my life financially and my career path forever by having that coach or mentor. Make sure you check these boxes off when you're interviewing it. If I can help you, my content mission at the bottom of the video. That's it. Just like drinking from fire hose. I know it came at you fast, 
But I think if you go back and watch this video a couple of times, you'll really understand what the income opportunity is for you. And make sure you catch the next video, mash the subscribe button, hit the bell, and come with me as we go through this entire decision process of whether or not mortgage protection sales or finance spend sales is for you. Now remember, the surest way not to fail is to be determined to succeed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.